So this morning, I was on a panel on Clubhouse today by accident. So Clubhouse, if you don't know, is this app. It's invite only, but everyone's on it now. It's not like anyone. It's not exclusive anymore. Um, It's been around for exactly a year. They just had their one year anniversary. And my favorite thing is like, Sometimes when you listen to people on Clubhouse talk about Clubhouse, they're like, well, you know, I've been on since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Bitch, it's been a year. It's not like you've been on for 20 years. You know what I mean? Like, I remember I got something from Twitter that it was my 10 year anniversary on Twitter last year. And I posted about they were like, you've been on Twitter since 2009. Like Twitter was around in 2009. I'm like, yeah, bitch. Now that Mm -hmm. is being on a a social media platform. That's an early adapter. Yeah, you went straight from MySpace to Twitter. Pretty much. Pretty pretty much. much. Yeah. But, you know, somebody that that's been on Clubhouse for a whole year. Oh, Mm -hmm. my God, an entire year. But anyway, so I get I get invited on this panel. Um, I get this text from this guy that I used to know. Um, he was a producer when I did a lot of television. Um, and now he's a he's in PR and he's a great guy. And I still kind of like keep in touch with him, like on Facebook or whatever. He just messages me and he's like, uh, I'm, ho- I'm monitoring something on Clubhouse. Hop on right now. I'd love to have you on. And I thought he meant like as a guest. So I was like, all right, whatever. I haven't been in Clubhouse in weeks. I'll check it out. So I get on there and he pulls me right up and suddenly I'm on the panel. Mm hmm. So the way it works is there's there's the moderator, there's the panel, then there's friends of the panel, and then there's everybody else. So I'm suddenly on this panel and I'm, you know, I didn't prepare anything <laughs> at all. Can they see ha- you or is it just audio? No, it's just audio. Oh, they see okay. your picture and they can click on your link and, you know, see your bio and stuff like that. But it's weird. Like you're talking to your phone. So, you know, me with audio, like the audio wasn't as good as I would have liked it to have been because it's on the phone, you know, mm-hmm. Um so, um, yeah, it was a panel about social media and cancel culture and stupid stuff like that. I mean, it's nothing I couldn't speak on, but it would have been nice to be prepared. So anyway, so I get th- I get this message at the last minute. I'm on this panel. One of the women on the panel brings up that Krispy Kreme is doing this thing right now where if you've been vaccinated, you can bring your card in to prove you've been vaccinated. They're not going to write on it. They're not going to do anything to it. They just want to see it. Mm-hmm. You bring that an ID like this is my card. This is me. Here's my ID. So you can prove it. And you get free donuts. One and it's not, donut a day. Yeah. one. But one donut. A, you can go in there every day and get a donut every single day. They're doing this promo for a year. Mm-hmm. For a whole year, you can get a free donut at Krispy Kreme. And I was about to say wow, that's a great promotion. She goes, isn't that awful? That is really unfair. How dare they? She was, she, And people were like, yes, that's a terrible promotion. I can't believe they'd be perpetuating. Blah, blah, blah. They were flipping out. I was like, what? what? Why is it bad that Krispy Kreme is offering a free donut every day if you've been vaccinated? They feel like it's alienating people that have not been vaccinated. It's like, Krispy Kreme isn't a government agency. It's a it's a private company. Mm-hmm. They can offer free donuts to people named Cooper if they want. Like they don't have to follow any guidelines or rules other than the FDA make sure everything is safe to eat. But other than that, their donuts but, are twenty six cents each. So right. <laughs> if you have right. a really big problem with it, it's twenty six cents. But and- it wasn't just this one woman. Everybody in the panel was like, "Yeah, how dare they?" And I was like. Am I the only person here who is sane, who's a sane donut lover? <laughs> it's a great promotion. It's a great idea that it's going to go on for a year. I'm not going to, I'm not going to partake in it. I'm not going to go to Chris because that's a lot of work for a 26 cents donut. Right. right. But I mean, you if don't... I lived right next to a Krispy Kreme, I might. Right. But, I live right near a Krispy Kreme, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to lose weight, so I'm not going to eat any donuts. They should have gotten me a year ago when I was eating everything in sight. See, that's but the, it's, that's the problem is now you're going to be 900 pounds, but you're going to be vaccinated. <laughs> you're you're going to be just fine, but 900 pounds. But, you know, they're doing their part to encourage people to get vaccinated. And the only thing they have to give are donuts. Mm-hmm. You know, they can't give vaccinations. They can't give money. They can't give, you know, housing you know, they they have what they have to give are donuts and they're giving donuts. They have coffee and donuts. It's the one thing they have. Right. But the fact is, like, so to encourage people to get vaccinated and all these people on the panel with me were flipping out about they were like, 
how dare they make a political statement like that? I'm like, political? This is a pandemic. We yeah. want people vaccinated so that, I don't know, there could be no more pandemic. Yeah, I don't know how, how it's political at all to stay alive. I, I, I don't understand that at all. Uh, yeah, they were getting upset and saying it was unfair because people that don't get vaccinated don't get to participate. Maybe so. I mean, there's a guy on my floor. He's deathly allergic to um, anything eggs and egg related, so he can't get the this, flu this, vaccine. This has no eggs in it. This oh, is, this one? Yeah, this has no egg. It's, it's, it's nothing but technology. There's nothing like that in it. You got to do the uh, figure it out. You got to you got to do the research. Oh, okay. I didn't know that because because oh, maybe it's this is like um in the very beginning before we knew knew much about it. Mm. He said, uh, and he's an older guy. He's like, I really want to get vaccinated, but I've got terrible allergies. Like I can't get a flu shot because of the I'm allergic to eggs. Well, well, bring it up with your doctor. Do some research. That's. But I'm just I'm just yeah. saying, if there are people that choose not to get vaccinated, I'm saying for whatever reason, for health reasons, for I've got a friend going through um a very specific type of cancer and he's going through uh cancer meds and the kind of meds he has they said to him you can't get vaccinated because the vaccine is going to mess with the Mm -hmm. drug trial that you're on so he can't get vaccinated so whatever there's people out there for whatever reason they're not getting vaccinated so that's what the people on the panel are upset about they're like if you're not going to get a vaccination maybe you're an anti-vaxxer so what you can't have a krispy kreme (laughs) it should they should open it up to everybody (laughs) Here's 26 cents. Go to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> Krispy mean. Kreme is not an entitlement. You're not entitled <laughs> to have Krispy Kreme. You you know, you should have a roof over your head. You should have health insurance. You should have good food to eat. You should get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. But, you know, oh, you should have seen people were livid when they heard about this promotion. You know, New York just announced that as of tomorrow, so it's been 65 plus and they lowered it to 60 mm-hmm. as of tomorrow. It's 50 plus. So if you're 50 and all my friends are like 47, 46, <laughs> they're, they're like, come on, oh, mother. <laughs> I have one friend who's 49. who's like, God, yeah. can, can you, you know, not go to out. Jersey and get it? Or do you have to be in New York? No, it's not like drugs. I mean, you can go to Jersey and get marijuana <laughs> because mm-hmm. it's legal there now. No, you, you have to get vaccinated in your state. Because you need your driver's license. You have to prove you live there. One of my really good friends, did I tell you this? I have this really good friend who is obese. And she said to me that she's like, I'm deciding uh, which vaccine to get. She has two options in two places. Hmm. I was like, oh, great. I'm glad you get it. I said, but how did you know? You're, I said, you're 42. How are you getting vaccinated? And she goes, I'm obese. And I was like, uh-huh. She's like, and I need a doctor's note. That says I'm obese. Like, I can't just walk in and be like, look at me. <laughs> like, just look at me. I'm, I'm enormous. <laughs> Give me my Find vaccine. A scale. Put my ass on a scale. I'll show you right Put now. Put me on a I'm scale. Obese. Exactly. I'm 5'3", and I'm, you know, wider than I am tall. It, it, it's, says, you know. it says size 22 right here. <laughs> right. No, she said she needed a doctor's note that she was obese. Really? Yep. Uh-huh. She couldn't just walk in and be like, hi, look at me. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not getting a vaccine. If I have to go to my doctor and my doctor has to sign something to say I'm <laughs> obese, I would rather just die of COVID. <laughs> I don't want that written down on paper that I carry around. I'm a, I'm fat. I No, I don't want that. It's enough that we can look at you and see it. Exactly. It's enough that when I go to the doctor, they kind of giggle when I get off the scale. I don't need a piece of paper to walk around and then hand it to more people 